In South Australia, Sardi's Jason Ems is leading the Enrich project. Funded by the Future Farm Industries Cooperative Research Centre, he is researching varieties of perennial shrubs and the benefits of incorporating them into farming systems. Perennial shrubs uh, provide a range of benefits. They fall into three main categories, profitability, sustainability and a lot of environmental benefits. So increased profit comes through less supplementary feeding because of the perennial nature of the shrubs. Um, you have feed the whole year round. Gives you a much more predictable feed supply which helps in planning and feed budgeting. And there's a range of environmental benefits related to um, increased soil cover, better water use leading to reduced salinity risk uh, and also creates increased habitat and increased biodiversity for things like birds. Because they're perennial plants, they provide soil cover for the whole year round, so reduced uh, wind erosion uh, and also water erosion. They're very deep rooted, so you get increased water use. Shrubs also provide shade and shelter, which is critical to animal performance. It's particularly important for times like lambing and off shears and can significantly reduce the amount of lamb losses. One of the other benefits of shrub based systems is you can defer grazing of your annual regenerating pastures so when they're starting to germinate you can have livestock on the shrubs uh, so you get better better growth of the annual pastures and that has a direct translation into increased stocking rates. So shrub based systems because of their perennial nature they provide feed the whole year round so you've got green feed available um, for periods such as over summer and autumn which are usually feed gaps so you can reduce the amount of supplementary feeding that you need to provide. What we do know is uh, the value of diversity so in our research we've seen that um, systems with a range of different species uh, are leading to better animal performance than those based on single species. Shrub based systems uh, can fit very well into, into a mixed farm um, particularly because they give a profitable option on land which is uneconomic for cropping. They can make quite unproductive or low value land uh, productive and you can get can get value out of that land class. It can increase whole farm profit by around 10 to 20 percent. Rick Llewellyn from the CSIRO speaks to us about the Future Farm Industries Cooperative Research Centre funded Evercrop project. This project is investigating the options that perennial shrubs and grasses provide to farmers. The shrubs and the grasses, are, they're likely to have just a niche place on, on different farms. So you're not talking about anything that's going to take over large hectares on, in this Mallee environment. The shrubs uh, have potential as plantations on, on marginal ground and uh, it's a matter of the, the carbon market, I guess, as to uh, what uh, extra that might provide in terms of the profitability. What we're doing as part of the CRC Future Farm Industries Evercrop project is we're trying summer growing grasses really for the first time here in this uh, environment in the SA Mallee. Once they've established this research has shown that they're a real productive option and a, and a solid option for providing cover on uh, otherwise erodible land. You've got um, the potential to, to fill an autumn feed gap for example and also the potential for um, feed during crises such as drought. The thing with the shrubs there also is some wooden, woody storage but we're looking at what the potential fit might be and, and where they might um, benefit farmers most and uh, in what sort of farming system and what soil types might they um, be the best fit for a mixed farmer in this uh, low rainfall region. Mm -hmm.